twin sisters Jennifer and Jessica Allen play field hockey for the San Pasquale Golden Eagles. Both have received Division I scholarships. I'm going to St. Louis University. I picked it because it's a Division I field hockey school and it also has nursing. My mom has inspired me since I was little. I would always go to the hospital and watch her and I was just like, I really want to do this and I've always taken care of my sister, so it's just something I fell in love with. I chose UC Davis for field hockey. Um, I chose it because of communications major. I really am into politics, so I'd really want to maybe um, go into something with politics in Sacramento, which is close by. The sisters are driven to be the best. Both Jess and Jen are very talented athletes and really give 100% in everything that they do. And um, on top of that, their competitive spirit, they just have that drive that you can't really teach an athlete. Um, and just the will to really want to improve. They're always the girls who come off and say, Coach, did you see that? What am I doing wrong? Type thing. And, and that's really good to have coachable players like that. Well, they're both very joyful girls. They love life. They approach life with a lot of passion and zest. Uh, it's, uh, that's how they approach sports. It's how they approach their, their life in high school, academics. They're, they're a joy to have around, so we're very blessed. Jen and Jess are like some of the hardest workers that like I've ever met. They're like, no matter what they do on the field, they're always pushing their hardest. And um, they're like really good leaders on the field too, always communicating to everyone and just like as people, just all around like really sweet girls. What's more amazing than the fact that both received field hockey scholarships is the story behind their adoption from a Russian orphanage by Mike and Pam Allen. Our family was living in Northern Virginia at the time. This was back in 1994. My husband, Mike, was working at the Pentagon on the Joint Chief of Staff. I was an emergency department nurse working at Alexandria Emergency Department. There was a three-year-old little girl that came in with her family to be treated. And I started talking to the family and realized that uh, she was adopted from Russia. So my husband and I were looking at adoption at the time. Um, we have two boys, biological, Chris, who's eight years old, and Eric, who was uh, five years old at the time. And I couldn't have any, ch uh, any more children, and we felt that uh, we both wanted a girl, and adoption was going to be our answer. Um, so we started pursuing it. It was January time frame of 1994. Um, we went through Cradle of Hope, which is an adoption agency in Washington, D.C. Um, we were offered... Uh, the twins, Jennifer and Jessica, in June, and I have to tell you, it's kind of a funny story. I was working in the, in the emergency department that particular day when I got a phone call from the agency, and they said, we have girls to tell you about. And it was like, girls? Girls? What do you mean girls? And they go, they're twins. Twins? And they're two years old. And this was perfect. Looking at these physically strong twin athletes, you would never guess that they had a very tough start to their lives. Back then in 1994, um, the children that were adopted out of Russia were considered unhealthy with medical needs. Those were the only children that were able to be adopted. We went over to the orphanage to meet um, Gaia and Svetlana at the time, but we had already picked the American names Jennifer and Jessica. We had a translator with us. She was interpreting uh, through the director was saying that Gaia and Svetlana were very, very sick. They had pertussis. They were sick. I mean, they had weepy eyes. Their nose was constantly running. They were really tiny. I mean, they were 25 months, and they only weighed 16 and 17 pounds. Um, they were skinny little girls. But smiles, big, big, big smiles the first time we saw them. The twins had to adjust to the American lifestyle. Just learning to eat American food, that was something new for them. They were, they were malnourished. Um, so we were feeding them, you know, potatoes and bananas and hot dogs and just things that were really bland because that was kind of the foods that they were used to. Um, and also getting them introduced to milk because they were used to drinking kefir milk and getting used to eating vegetables and fruit. While getting healthy was the first priority, the girls also had to acclimate to a new family that included two brothers. It was kind of interesting the first couple of months. Um, Chris, who's the oldest, who was eight at the time, has done really well with the girls. Um, Eric, who was five at the time, um, I think it was a little bit difficult, uh, difficult for him. Having a big, two big brothers has really like um, helped my sister and I just like um, been like Americanized. Like they really helped us, like show how to be loved. And there was one time, I think it was the first time he was building Legos, Jennifer and J uh, Jessica kind of tore it down and he came to uh, Mike and he says, okay dad, you can take the girls back. 
Though now part of a big family, the twins have a special bond that won't be broken by going to different colleges. We're going to Skype every night. We promised each other and phone each other. It was kind of funny because when we were on our official visits, um, she called me and was like, Oh my gosh, I miss you so much. I'm listening to Taylor Swift and um, I hope you're having fun. So it's like we're both really there for each other. Most high school athletes and their parents feel lucky when they receive scholarships. But the entire Allen family feels lucky to simply have each other. I love my parents. They've given us the chance to succeed here. I um, actually wrote a paper for UC Davis about like the American dream. And um, it's kind of like so much different from Russia because we came from like a place where it was like your bathroom was a pot. And you know, here we actually have toilets and it's just so much different. It's just like a dream, you know, it's like everything that you kind of always wanted. I wouldn't have asked for any other parents. Like when people ask me, what does it feel like to be adopted? I, I couldn't say because they're my parents and I don't feel like I've ever been adopted. I feel like I came from them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. God so blessed our family. Um, I wanted a girl and I got two girls. Well, we love our daughters very much. I really believe that uh, that we are blessed. They're, they're an example of God's grace on earth. We feel so fortunate they've been brought together. So many people say, oh my gosh, the girls are so lucky. Oh, I think it's the opposite. I think I am lucky. Thanks for watching Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps. Keeping you on demand.